So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. I really love to eat camembert and I was really worried when I recently read that some cheesemakers are worried that the fungus which is growing on the camembert cheese might go extinct in the future. So it's an endangered species, who would have guessed that? Endangered microbes. And uh, first I did not quite believe uh, what I read, but then um, after doing a little bit of research, I found out something quite interesting. And that is indeed cheesemakers are having a big problem in reproducing, in growing this particular fungus. Because over the years, uh, the cheesemakers have optimized the fungus uh, for its appearance appearance, the beautiful nice uh, white um, color um, and also its flavor. But in the meantime, over the years, the fungus has, its, uh, lo has lost its ability to produce fungal spores. And spores are those reproductive cells that will grow in into a new fungus. What I've done therefore is, is well, I'm, I just want to find out myself, right? Um, and uh, so I decided to put uh, the camembert cheese, um, at least the fungus of the camembert cheese under the microscope. And I just want to show you how spores now look like. Um, so this is a different fungus and you can see that between the cells of the fungus, which are the long string-like uh, structures, you can see those oval round egg-shaped uh, things and these are the spores. And those spores, they scatter over air and then they will grow into a new fungus. And uh, maybe I'm able to find those in the common bear fungus or not. Well, we'll find out. And for this reason, I put uh, a little bit of the fungus under the microscope. And indeed, uh, I was able to find many of those uh, fungal cells um, under the microscope. But indeed, there were no spores. So I can actually confirm that, what uh, some of the cheesemakers are concerned about. Yeah, I tried uh, to look for these spores and I could not find any. Normally, when I find some mold somewhere and I put it under the microscope, there were always plenty plenty of spores visible, but yeah, in this case, actually, I'm actually not. Um, so I changed also the imaging technique a little bit. I tried face contrast microscopy for those of you who are, in who are interested, um, and still nothing. Um, I also tried to stain the specimen using methylene blue. I also was not able to find any, any spores. So what I can say here is, is well, I can confirm that um, there are no spores on this cheese. And um, on second thought, I was actually a little bit relieved as well, because uh, can you imagine um, cheese in the refrigerator? And uh, with uh, scattering uh, and having uh, scattering its spores and having spores flying all over the place, well, you never know um, what other types of food might not become moldy and have mold growing on it, which should not be there. Um, and uh, in that sense, it's actually maybe also a good sign. And I'm not so much concerned that uh, in the future we will not be able to have camembert cheese anymore. I'm really not worried about that because uh, I'm quite sure that cheesemakers will find a way um, to cultivate different types of fungi in the future as well, which have, st have still retained the ability to, um, to produce spores. And uh, with that, I simply would like uh, to wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.